You hear that? You feel that? My cousin Jukebox can sing. But that voice gonna fool your ass. Cause you never knew a nigga harder than Jukebox. And I ain't never loved nobody harder neither. So Jukebox is a character who really is integral to raising Kanan because of how she connects the dots to the original power. And there were many easter eggs in the first season which connected back to the Duke we saw in power. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck this up. I ain't gonna fuck this up. Why you keep saying shit like that? But with Kanan, we're now seeing this close bond between both of them. So it really makes you think, what changed? But this is something we're gonna learn as the seasons go on. But what we need to understand when it comes to Duke is, she's already been through so much at a young age, from losing Nicole to getting disrespected by Marvin and also never having her mother in her life. But damaged people are the strongest because they know how to survive. And London Brown, who plays Marvin, even said, Now people can better appreciate why Jukebox became so tough as an adult. And it's because of these things she had to deal with growing up. Her girlfriend died and she had a strained relationship with her father. All these layers help us understand why these characters turned out the way they did. And throughout season 1, Jukebox proved to us she does know how to survive. It's not your fault, Kena. It's this place, Kena. This place is fucked up life we live in here. Because she understands the world they live in. So she understands the game and the consequences of it, which is probably one of many reasons why she made a point of not fucking what Marvin's into. Because when Duke was just a kid, Marvin was arrested for taking his own product and selling from his own home, which in this game is a cardinal sin. So you can see why Duke stays away from the product and does her own thing. And we haven't even touched the surface of what this product did to Nicole, which we will get to later on in this video. But something we're yet to witness is Duke murder someone, but something I could see coming in season 2. Because we need to understand what made Duke this cold, ruthless and unforgiving character we saw in power. And I'm sure we will see a bloodthirsty Duke box at some point in Power Book 3 Raising Kanan. Now, I read a passage from a book called The Mind of a Murderer, which I will be heavily referencing throughout this season, and Dr. Richard Taylor explained how most murderers are made and not born, but how there's a complex interplay of genetic and environmental factors which are influenced by life and extreme circumstances. And as I was reading this, the one person who sprung to mind was Jukebox, especially because of these environmental factors she mentioned by living in a fucked up place but where she's also been impacted by extreme circumstances. For example, her relationship with Marvin and Nicole's death. So it slowly makes us understand why Jukebox had a complete disregard for human life in power. She wasn't someone who just felt pain. She was someone who understood and accepted this pain. And what happens to those who feel this pain on a regular basis? It then becomes a norm where you end up becoming numb to all the pain and suffering. And this is where I think we're at with Jukebox's character. We're gonna see her experience a lot more hard breaks and setbacks along with a lot of death which really will shape her future but let's have a look at the intelligent and hustler side of Duke and how this compares with Kanan because she knew very well it was Rock and Lou behind Dewey's death yet she told Kanan there were secrets about the family he doesn't want to know because he'd never understand why Dewey's had to go until Rock gave him a slap back to reality but Duke did and she kept what she saw a secret from Kanan but we're gonna see Duke telling Kanan yet again what Rock made him do was wrong and she should never have asked him to kill a cop and she knows Kanan better than anyone especially with how he's so naive and doesn't see the broader perspective and if you notice Duke is always trying to open Kanan's eyes to the truth how long you been trying to get with her? Second grade? How long she been playing you to the left? Maybe you should move on. So in the very beginning of season 1, we had Jude telling Kanan he needs to get over Davina and also how she was a snake. And in essence, where she was opening Kanan's eyes about Davina, she's now trying to do the same with Rock because she knows Rock is a monster. But another difference between the two is Duke was born a hustler, 
So very similar to Rock, she knows being a woman in a man's world, she needs to take what's hers, especially if she's ever gonna get that studio time, and the way she does is by boosting clothes, because as I mentioned earlier, she made a point of not fucking with what Marvin's into, and rightly so, because this isn't just a drug that fixes people's addiction, it's a drug that destroys people's lives and destroys communities, but more importantly, it took the life of Nicole. So naturally, as we pick up with Duke's character for season 2, I think we're gonna see her in pain and mourning her death and we even see Duke at church and this is a death that really will hurt Duke for a long time coming because in season 1 we saw two layers to Jukebox's character. When she was in Queens, she was Jukebox and there was nobody harder than Duke but when she was with Nicole, she was a sweet, shy Laverne Thomas and it was Nicole who bought this Laverne out of Jukebox but the minute she left Nicole to go and boost some clothes, we saw an instant change in her facial reactions which was symbolizing the change back from Laverne to Duke. So is the layer of Laverne Thomas dead forever? I don't think so, not yet anyway because it has been teased for season 2, we're gonna see her picking up with her music career and I do think we're in for a real journey where her music career will really take off and where she's close to making it big but as we all know with power, there are no happy endings and I'm sure she's gonna suffer an even bigger loss or impact than Nicole's death which will probably stop her from pursuing music and I still hold on to my theory of Lulu being a death that really will impact Duke because Lou is one of Duke's biggest supporters and if she loses Lou, it really is a game changing moment and I'm not necessarily saying in season 2 but possibly in season 3 or 4 is when I see a big death in the Thomas family and this is something that will probably lay the foundation to Duke becoming a cop, especially after the conversation she had with Rock and her not wanting to be in the same game as Kanan and Marvin are in. Duke is probably someone who realizes the benefits of being a cop and how it can actually help her commit a lot more crimes without even having to get her hands dirty, just like we saw in Power. But inevitably, there always will be more factors at play. For example, her relationship with Detective Beck, along with all the pain and suffering she still needs to go through. And something else which may play a part is her relationship with her mom, Kenya. So in the trailer, we got our first glimpse of Kenya when Duke spied her at church. And naturally, I think this is to start off with a negative reaction from Duke, which I'm sure we can all expect, especially with how Kenya left when Duke was a kid. But as time goes on, because of a strained relationship with Marvin and her knowing how much of a monster Rock is, I think we may see her accepting Kenya back into her life and this is how we're gonna learn more about Duke and Marvin's backstory through the return of Kenya. But can Duke really trust her moms? I think at first she'll resist but let's not forget Duke is just a kid as much as Kanan is and because she's got nobody who's been completely isolated after Nicole's death, I'm sure we're gonna see them bond as time goes on and they do have something in common which is singing because we know how Kenya went to LA to try and make it as a singer, so could she be yet another supporter for Duke, just like Uncle Lulu is? And could Kenya be yet another death to add to Duke's pain? Because you can guarantee she is gonna suffer. But that's a breakdown of where we are with Jukebox and how I think they're gonna set the foundation to Jukebox's path to becoming a cop and how the impact of Nicole's death will stay with her, but also how there's still so much more pain and suffering still to come. But drop all your thoughts down below on all things Jukebox and of course if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you wanna see everything Power Book 3 and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.